Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode, and today we're going to be talking about OpenVPN. OpenVPN is a trusted, free, and open source protocol that lets you connect your local machine to a trusted third party. It creates an encrypted tunnel between your machine and a remote machine. Through the tunnel, your traffic is encrypted, and uh, it makes for a much better solution than uh, going unencrypted, obviously. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about setting up your own VPN server on Linode using our one-click app solutions. Uh, the, the question might be, why would you want to set up your own uh, open VPN server? And the answer is pretty straightforward. It's because some of the VPN providers just aren't that trustworthy. Rolling your own is a great solution, uh, especially if you want to make sure that your ISP or maybe your local government isn't able to listen in on your traffic um, even though you might be using SSL connections through your browser. And straight up, if you're watching this video with the intent to do piracy or anything like that, don't, don't, don't bother. If you violate the Linode Terms of Service, you're not gonna be able to uh, use their service anymore. So uh, this is only for lawful purposes. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on Marketplace here on the left. And then uh, once this loads, you're going to click on OpenVPN Latest right here. And then we're going to scroll down to Linode Plan. Now you can actually uh, do, you know, light VPN services over uh, a nanode here. Uh, I'm going to go with the two gigabyte Linode uh, just because uh, that should be a little bit faster for the kind of stuff that we're going to do with this. Uh, we're going to scroll down here and uh, let's just give it a name. Open VPN, and let's continue. Give a root password for the Linode uh, for logging in uh, over SSH. This is gonna be different from the one above. And you know what, 10 bucks a month, you, you could even get away with five bucks a month uh, for a Linode uh, VPN. I think that that's pretty rad, honestly. So let's hit create. And here we go, we're creating our uh, OpenVPN server. And that was a pretty straightforward process. And getting your uh, devices set up to access your OpenVPN server is gonna be pretty straightforward as well. All right, looks like we're probably set up. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is copy your IP address here. We're gonna open a new tab and we're gonna type in HTTPS colon slash slash and then we're gonna paste in our IP address that we just copied. We're gonna put in a colon and then co uh, colon 943 followed by admin slash admin. And there you can see this is potential risk ahead, but this is the server that we just set up. So um, we can just go ahead and accept the risk and continue. Now we're gonna type in OpenVPN here and then the password that we set up in the dashboard. Um, not the last one, but the first one that we set up. And we'll hit enter. And here we go. We have uh, a terms of service here. We can go ahead and click agree. And from here, this is the OpenVPN dashboard and you can do all kinds of different things. Uh, you can uh, change your TLS uh, certificates. You can uh, manage your authentication. This web interface will allow you to um, access and control your OpenVPN server settings. But you might be wondering, this is cool, but now what? And I'll show you. So let's go ahead and click on user management and then uh, user uh, permissions here. We're gonna create a new user here, G Bryant. We're gonna allow auto login. Make sure we add a password to the user we just created. And let's go ahead and type into our address bar, SRC equals connect. And we're gonna uh, receive this uh, login screen. And let's type in the user account that we just created and hit sign in. And here, and now we're gonna select uh, available connection profiles and you can choose whichever one you would like, either user lock profile or auto login profile. Uh, you might not have that enabled for the user account you created depending on your needs. And we can go ahead and click uh, save. And then we'll go into uh, the Linux uh, VPN settings and we'll click add and then we'll import uh, our setting here and that's going to be under downloads and we'll select client OVPN and there we go now we can add that to our list and enable it now how do you test if a VPN is actually working that's a good question so let's make sure that our VPN is not enabled and we're gonna uh, ask 
what's my IP? And that's my IP address. That's the one uh, that I recognize. Uh, that's the one that I have memorized. <laughs> um, and so DuckDuckGo is telling us that that's your IP address and that's your location. Now, let's enable the VPN and let's refresh this page. And now you can see that your uh, IP address is the same IP address of the server uh, that you connected to the admin uh, panel to. And it says we're in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, now, that's a good point. If you uh, decide that you want to do this, make sure that you put in uh, the, the VPN location that you actually want to appear in. If you want to be in the United States, choose a uh, data center that's in the United States. Uh, or if you want to be in another country, go ahead and choose one of those. Um, there are a lot of uh, services like Netflix and Hulu that are now blocking known VPN addresses. So if you do this and you uh, you know roll your own VPN, you might be able to bypass some of the the blocking uh, VPN network blocking that goes on in those services. I'll, I'll show you how to get this set up on Windows too. All right, so here we are on a, a Windows desktop, and you can go ahead and uh, do the same thing. HTTPS colon slash slash, and then paste in the IP address of uh, your server. And then it's going to be colon 943, and we'll hit enter. And again, we have to uh, ignore the risk. And it's going to prompt us to sign in. Now let's go ahead and do that. And now it's going to say here, you can download uh, the, the uh, application uh, to get Windows set up with a VPN. So once that once that's downloaded, let's go ahead and install it. Windows Defender might tell you not to install it, but go ahead and ignore that. Uh, and then we'll accept the license terms and go ahead and install it. And there we go. All right, and let's click on the, uh, the VPN icon now. And let's go ahead and uh, go through this and it uh, should be everything. Yep. Okay. And it, it, look, it comes with the VPN uh, set up. So now all we have to do is add or, or set the connection to on. And there we go. Now we're connected on Windows. And of course, we can double check that the VPN is working by going to DuckDuckGo. We can say, what's my IP address? And you can see, there we go. We have uh, the, the VPN IP address rather than our own. That's awesome. But yeah, I think that's pretty awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> but that's gonna do it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about how this works, let me know down in the comments. Uh, we're always trying to uh, reply to what you guys have to say about this. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. But that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.